What's up everyone, this is MNL2 here, and welcome back to episode 2 of Building Tatsu. Uh, if you haven't seen episode 1, then I highly recommend going and checking that out, there will be a link in the description. And, uh, yeah, but let's go ahead and start off with episode 2. So, immediately starting off right now, um, we, in all, well, first of all, I should say, in the last episode, we finished building the the um, entrance sign, and we started on the queue, so right now, we're gonna start... Uh, continuing the queue and we're also gonna uh, build half I think half of the station or so so yeah um, it's gonna be a great video so right now we're building a brick wall that kind of blocks I don't know the the mountain because uh, Tatsu uh, at Magic Mountain it is actually built on on Samurai Summit well more like halfway up Samurai Summit but it's built on a hill so there's a lot of hills so that's probably gonna be a lot of hard terraining so right now we're building uh, the queue fences, and I'm going into the stairs, I believe. But there's also another fence over here, and because after you do, after there's the queue on the ground, then you take a left and you go up the stairs, and then there's the station. And there's also you're also going up a hill because that's where the station is. And so, if you remember from the last episode, then this is a huge scale, and so everything is going to be huge, including the stairs, including the fences. So all this right here that I'm building right now, this is all for the stairs. And so I think I'm changing the ground into whatever block this was. I think this was like uh, some sort of clay or concrete powder or something like that. Light gray, con light gray concrete powder, yeah. And so we're clearing away the ground here so I can place it down. Almost done here. And in real life, this is concrete, I believe, but... Minecraft concrete, it does not look like real concrete at all, it's like just smooth block, it's the smoothest block. And also that reminds me, if you have not joined my Discord server yet, uh, which you can join by join, uh, clicking the link in the description, there's another link for that, uh, then this is going to be the first time you'll see the new scale for the BNM track, aka the track I'm using for Tatsu, and so... Uh, Stay tuned to the end of the video to see, and not really a teaser, but basically the track going in the station, or at least the start of the track that's going to be in the station, and that's going to be a, one of the last things I build today. And so in episode 3, we'll be finishing the station and starting on the lift, so that's going to be a cool episode 2. But right now, as you can see, I'm working on the staircases, and so the way the stairs look is it looks like at the edge of each stair, there's like this yellow bit. But it took me forever to figure out how I should do that, but I, I like I cut it all out. So I ended up just put, but just putting uh, carpets on the stairs, and then above the carpet of the stair under it, I put yellow carpet. If that makes any freaking sense at all, which it probably doesn't, but as you can see from the video, it just makes sense. And if it doesn't, then you can go uh, ride Tatsu and be happy. Yeah, so right now I'm doing the other side because there are two stations, meaning there's two queues that go into, well, two lines that go into these other, the two stations. So they start off next to each other, then they split up as it gets to the top. So right now I'm building both staircases. And also another thing is right now I'm doing basically all the, well, for this episode you're going to, like, there's not going to be very many supports for anything that I build. Like, these staircases are just going to be floating, and the station is going to be floating. Because I'm going to wait to do terraining at the very end, or at least closer to the end. Well, more like to the end of one of building the station. Like, I might not wait until uh, the end of actually building, like, when I'm done building the coaster, but more like when I'm done building at least the station and some, yeah, stuff up like that. And so, basically, I guess the banisters of the rails of the... Uh, handrail, the handrails of the stairs, they're topped off with some stone slabs, and so, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So right now I'm finishing up the fence, and yeah, there's also, this fence isn't going to be finished yet, because I have to do the terraining so I can see where it's going to go, so right now that's just kind of left there. And so that's finished, and so now after the staircase, it goes into a small flat bit, which is what I'm going to build now. And yeah, if you see me pausing for a bit, that's because I'm looking at reference pictures. I cut all the long pauses, but le like I left some of the shorter pauses in. And so I accidentally dropped the block. 
So now we're doing the flat part of the stairs and then it's going to go into more stairs. You'll see what I mean afterwards because I probably make no freaking sense at all. So uh, I, I don't rem remember exactly the blocks I used but I think it was light gray concrete powder with uh, light gray carpets on top and also using yellow carpets. This block right here, the edge, I think was cyan terracotta but I'm not sure. It's either that or some type of concrete. Yeah, cyan terracotta, because you can see it from the quick bar selections. And so right now I'm doing the same thing with the light gray carpets and the yellow carpets as well. Doing the edge things, thingy-mabobbers. And yeah, the top stair of each set of stairs is yellow on the side, and so that's why I used a yellow block for that. And so right now I'm building up the fence, the handrails on either side. So yep, that's pretty cool. And also putting the banisters on top of them. And yeah, these staircases are pretty huge because once if you watch the whole video, or if you've joined my Discord server and knows what the track looks like already, then you'll know that this is going to be a huge scaled roller coaster and I'm really hoping that there's enough space in this world because I do play on Xbox 360 and I have limited space I tried to build in the exact center but I well not not really I built more towards one edge because most of the coaster is on the other side of the station pretty much the entire coaster like the only thing that's not is the lift hill and the first drop which is like a half drop it's more of just a turn but you know it's pretty cool pretty fun and so I just now finished the, that part of the stairs, and so I got a good look of it, look at it, and so now we're going to do, pretty sure we're doing the curve that's gonna, well the separation part, so the right set of stairs is gonna turn to the right and go up some more stairs, so, well I, I should say the right queue is gonna turn right and go up some stairs to the, um, I don't know which one would be right, which one's left, depends on which side you're looking at it. But from the station closest to the entrance, I don't know. The okay, if you're dis if you're on the ride and you're about to dispatch, if you're loading, then the left station. But if you're operating the ride and you're looking at both stations, then the right station. So yeah, it's that's what we're leading into now. And we also we didn't since we didn't finish well, I didn't finish the queue in this episode. Uh, the left queue doesn't really go anywhere, it just kind of stops because you just walk through the queue and then you fall off and you die. Sounds great. So you just, uh, so when I finish the station in the next episode, then I'm going to finish that side of the queue. And so right now I'm putting the carpets on top of the either light gray, uh, clay or whatever this is. And now I'm putting it on the stairs and so back to the yellow and so now we're doing the sides again and the handrails again and I'm drinking some more swiftness and we're doing the banishers down now to the other side doing the sides and the handrails again well the fences or whatever and then banisters yeah there's not really much to say so that well no I was about to say that staircase is now finished but no there's going to be another flat section right here and then we're going to do the same thing same uh, design I've been doing the whole stairs like and so now we're just doing the handrails again Make counting it, always count to make sure that I did it right in the way I wanted it. And so now we're going up into the another set of stairs, and this is I'm pretty sure this is as high as the stairs are gonna go. Because right here that's gonna lead into the station, which is when the fun begins. The interesting things happen then. So yeah, like I said, not much to narrate right here. There's just doing the same thing over and over again. I mean this is a speed build, so I can't really cut anything out. Everything's important. 
And yeah, like I said, there's going to be pauses in here. I didn't cut every single one of them out, but I tried to cut most of them. There's a lot of pauses in here that you probably can't catch because it's going so fast that I cut out. So yeah, just, just, just know that. And so we're almost done with these stairs right here. And we're doing the banisters. And we're good with that. And so, wait, we're doing another bit of a flat section. And... Almost done. Put the carpets down. And then the fences again with the banisters on top. Or whatever you want to call it and now I think that part is done and then I'm saving the game because I did a ton of work right there and uh, yeah sorry but from this point on the recording was extremely glitchy due to the game capture errors and yeah uh, it's still you can still tell what I was doing and what I was building it's just you know there's a few glitches in here and it was just kind of really annoying but I'm, I'm sorry, but like like you just saw, I just saved the game, so it's not like I could go back and redo this and re-record it all. So, you know, I was trying to do as best I could to fix it, which is part of the reason why this video took so long to make. But, uh, you know, it's still no you can still tell exactly what I'm doing, and it's all great. But if you don't know what I'm doing, I am building the station. And the way the station walls look, it's kind of like a graded wall, I don't even know what to call it. But the way I built it was with iron blocks, and every two blocks, well every, I don't know, every three blocks I think, something like that, there were blocks in front of the blocks of the wall, or in back of I should say. So it went one pillar, and then two pillars behind it, and then one pillar, you can you can see what I'm what I mean, I hope. I mean, if you need more description, then you could join my Discord server. Yes. So, um, most, well, not most, yeah, probably most. Most of this side of the station, the side I'm working on right now, there's handrails that you can see out of, so, well, there's gaps in the wall, huge gap in the wall to where you can see out, like a giant window. And so, like I said earlier in the video, there's not gonna, I'm not gonna finish the station, and I'm not going to be doing the supports until I do the terraining, which won't be until I finish the station. So, it's going to be a floating station for now. But, it'll it'll be done eventually. And so, right now I'm going back and I'm adding the floor in, which I think is light gray concrete. Maybe, not sure. I don't exactly remember. And now we're going into the, uh, like, I think it's turn, yeah, the wall, we're turning going and making a making the rest of the station so that's one corner of the wall I believe and then yeah wait no bit bit further out and then we're going to be doing the more more of the queue well I guess the waiting area where the gates open and uh, most of my recreations have functional gates but this one probably won't because they're gigantic well not really but the gates themselves aren't gigantic, they're normal size fence gates, but there's just a lot of them. There's like, I think, six of them per fence. Like, for one gate is six fence gates. And so, you can't really have them all open when they're stacked on top of each other. I mean, unless I use a piston system. But, I mean, I don't know, that I might implement that. Like, if you guys want, I could try to get a complex piston system that would actually open the gates, but then it would just be going down, like, not really a trapdoor, but it would, it would just be like a, I don't even know what to call it, like it would open from the bottom instead of swinging out to the side. But right now I'm making supports for, that support the roof, like this is I think in real life steel or something, but I, I don't even know what it is or like why it's there, well I know why it's there, it's to help support the ceiling, but uh, yeah, I just built that, the black thing, and now making the walls for the station higher. And the walls are some type of metal. I never really paid attention to them when, I'm, when I go and when I ride the ride. But now I'm finishing these uh, cross things. I don't, I don't even know. Uh, 
I think those are done and so now I'm doing more of the floor and yeah this is a type of concrete I just saw from the quick select bar yeah light gray concrete so and then the stuff that I used for the queue was cyan terracotta and so now uh, I think I'm almost done with that just one more row and then I'm gonna go, come down here and fill in the rest of the walls great looking great so what's next uh, I'm pretty sure I went and I started working on the uh, little path like not pathways but the little not really sure what you'd call them but where you wait for for like the where you'd wait for your row your, your desired row on the train and so um, not sure how exact how long I made them but they weren't that long and I think I could make them longer because they don't really seem like they're up to scale yeah also that's another thing if you find that something doesn't look up to scale and you want to tell me about it you can leave a comment or message not messenger me but tell me on discord so now's here oh so it's only three fence gates I thought I used six it was ended up just being three stacked on two stacked on top of the bottom one I could somehow make a like a piston system and use like normal fences just to drop down but then it wouldn't be swinging out and opening at least if I remember correctly yeah I'm pretty sure they swing out and not two gates because sometimes there's two gates that both swing out but no this one just one yeah most most have one most coaster stations and so there's a lot of in the middle of the station there's a lot of uh, steel pillars that support the ceiling so when you see just a black pole then you know what that's for it's gonna be to support the ceiling and yeah I'm not gonna do the ceiling until I do the other side of the station because right now in this episode I'm gonna be building the first half of the station and so uh, when I finish the that half of the station then I can do the roof right now I'm working on like a I think it's an employee only access accessible area and then I think I had room for another uh, row selector and yeah this isn't this definitely isn't an accurate um, like amount of row selectors like this I don't really care that much about it but I think there's like at least 10 or something in real life maybe more maybe less but this one only has like five or six or four something like that because I either I made them smaller and made and it would look less like it was up to scale so uh, we're just gonna be finishing uh, not finishing but doing more of the walls here it's great and so yeah I did all the little entryways into your row selector and so now I'm going to add more of the floor and I think I'm going to also do the air the area where you load onto the train the Tatsu trains and so it's basically like a little dipped down area with little bits that diagonally come up I you probably have no idea what I'm even talking about or what I'm saying at all but you'll understand once you see it in a second and so in real life it's basically just striped black and white and black and white no that's not black and white I'm colorblind black and yellow uh, stripes right now they don't really look like stripes but if you saw a reference picture uh, yeah, real pictures or if you know exactly what I'm talking about if you've ridden a ride or another uh, BNM flyer then you probably know what I'm talking about so I built I don't remember how many but I feel I think it looks pretty cool I was pretty happy with the end result of its look and you would actually know how it would look if you uh, saw the teaser screenshots in the in my discord server so I yeah I, something I forgot to mention was I do make a lot of mistakes and there's a lot of trial and error in this and there's a lot of going back destroying things and and rebuilding it so that was just an example I just built it over one too close to the other one and so if you are following along somehow with this tremendous speed then uh, yeah just just this is a little late to warn you just be just be in caution that there's gonna be mistakes and so if you'd spend a long time to try to copy something exactly how I did it then uh, just 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 be warned I don't want to waste your time 
by building something and then ending, having it be completely wrong or completely off. So, and then you'll dislike the video, report my channel, and uh, unsubscribe forever, and I'll be deleted from the... I'll just be wiped off the face of the earth, which will be great. So yeah, we don't want that to happen. So yeah, fair warning. So uh, we just finished all those little crevices in which the it allows space for the train to bas basically each row when it com when it disengages from flyer mode when it comes back into load standby mode where you can load each train goes where each little crevice is and you walk where the raised bits are which is raised to the elevation of the station floor. So, and then you get on the train, and then it'll go engage into flying mode where it can dispatch, but it can turn, it, it's curved and put so that when it's transitioning from standby or from loading mode into a uh, flying mode, like flying position, then it'll allow space for your feet to not hit the ground. I don't know if I'm making any sense. But right now, I am trying to connect the wall, the top of the wall, at least to the other side of the train. Well, not, sorry. The other side of the track, because right here is where there's going to be track in the middle, where all those yellow and black stripes are. And so right now, I'm just, just like uh, spacing it out, uh, seeing where the, like, the, I don't even know the thingies are gonna be laid out because it's gonna it has to go one two one two pattern the wall the way I have it done and so that has to be even going all the way around so I needed to make sure I spent some extra time fixing that and, and oops and uh, making sure that's perfect and so right now we're just connecting it across on the top almost done and that's pretty much that and so now at least to the top and bottom are oh wait no yeah there this was another one of those mistakes uh, it didn't line up and like it ended up not being how I wanted it to be so I had to do some fixing off well, not no, okay I did I did some fixing and it worked so it's great so right now I think I'm about to build the operator booth where the control panel is and where the operator can see both sides of the station because on Tatsu the operators booth is in the middle of the two stations so that the operator can simultaneously dispatch both which is great I mean it wouldn't really make sense to have it on one station on one side and so, using reference pictures, I saw that it was just a, I don't even know what color it is, I mean, a brown obviously, but it was like the uh, color of oak wood, so I used oak wood, but it was outlined with red, so I used red concrete as the outline. I used oak wood planks, yeah. And I think, I don't know for sure, but I think I made a mistake on this box, so, I mean, if you're copying, just, just... Just be noted. I think, though, don't don't take my word for everything. Just take my word that I make mistakes, whether it's in this narrating or in the building, or in the editing, or in the recording. I guess because, but that wasn't me. That was the that was the game capture, Elgato. So this is yeah that has to be gone because there's a staircase that's the exiting staircase when you're when you're when you finish the ride. And you're gonna exit, then you go down the staircase and it leads, it goes beneath the station. Which is pretty cool because since there's entrances on either side of the station, you're gonna need to get out somehow. I mean, I guess they could have put the exits on the, uh, the sides, like, so that from all four sides, there's gonna, well, using only three sides, there would be entrances slash exits. Yeah, I, I don't think you have any idea what I'm talking about. I should just stop. So right now we're doing the middle section, which is about as far as it's going to go in this video. Well, not in the, not in the video, but as far as I'm going to go in the speed build, then I'm going to be doing the other half um, 
in the next episode because we're already almost 25 minutes in. Well, we are 25 minutes in counting the intro. So, right here is where there's going to be cubbies as well as the staircase that goes down. And so the cubbies are pretty much birch colored, birch wood colored. So we're doing the uh, we're doing that right now. And so I'm just making, uh, not making, but I'm counting out exactly where the uh, blocks and stuff are gonna go. Yep. And so that's that's gonna go down into the station, not station. That that's gonna be the staircase that leads out off the ride, the exiting staircase. And there's two of them. One goes in this direction, and one goes in the complete opposite direction. But yeah, these staircases are exactly like the ones from before, which were with the con not the concrete, yeah, the, the concrete powder and, no wait, the clay, I'm pretty sure it was clay, and the, uh, the carpets and all that, all the good stuff. And so right now I'm doing the cubbies, they're obviously not functional, they're for display, and that's one of the things I had doubts about whether it was um, up to scale, because I could have used that in a 1x1 one one scale. The one to one to one scale, sorry. And so, yeah, I don't even know my own scales. So right now we're finishing the fences, the and the fence, the the fence gates, I meant, aka the gates that we that we use to exit the ride. And so, like I said, there's one going opposite direction from the uh, one we just built. And so I don't know what I'm doing right now. I guess looking. Oh yeah, extending the station floor out that way because it needed to be longer so that's what I'm doing and this is you know, just doing the exact same thing on the other side and extending this out and now we're just going to yeah, this is the I think it's the employee only access area and then right now I'm doing the staircases that go down. And yeah, like I said before, this is where the light gray, light gray, light gray uh, carpets go with the yellow carpets on top. And so that's that's going to be unfinished for now. So that's just going to be hanging out the bottom. I'm not going to be doing the exiting yet because I have to work on the station. But yeah, the station is incomplete for, by the end of this video. There's, there's not going to be a completed station. So right now we're just mirroring exactly what we did on the other side. Doing the staircases, going all the way up. And I think I at least did the walls for these staircases, maybe. I don't remember if I did or not. And so right now I'm just adding the fence around it and the floor and all that good stuff. So I'm just flying around, trying to see what's the next thing to do. And like I keep saying, this is the employee only access area. And so right now I'm building a uh, little platform. Uh, I think it's like some sort of. It, it leads to some employee only accessible area. I'm not sure what exactly yet. But there is a little platform right here that I'm building right now. And it juts out the side here. Uh, but like I said, I don't know where it's going to go yet. So I'm just adjusting the dimensions and stuff of it and putting some more stuff on it. Um, adjusting it now again. And so I'm putting the putting fences on it right now. And the banisters again or whatever you want me to call them. And I'm adjusting it some more and yep, I ended up putting the carpets on. And making that some of whatever this ground was. I think it was uh, light gray concrete, something like that. And doing the cross thingy ma bobbers again. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what they were called. But yeah, these were the steel things that hold up the ceiling. And so we're just adding those on the other side right now. And I'm um, doing some more of the pillars. And some more of the wall, of course. And so, I think that's almost done. 
and yeah this wall is going to be incomplete it's not going to be going underneath like it, oh, it is going underneath. it's not going to be going door to the ground which would be a hill because i'm not i haven't done the training yet but it looks nice right now and i decided to cut that off and yeah this was like a bit of a uh a, i don't know it was just a hard thing to do right now because it was a little messed up it wasn't even on the sides so i'm doing that right now and i think i am going to do some of the wall leading um down the side but i was trying to see what looks good and i think i settled with that yeah pretty sure uh, maybe i deleted it nope so i settled with that and now we're doing some more of the wall and making sure it lined up and all that which it did and so now I'm just filling that in but yeah it's just the same wall over and over again same pattern it took forever I mean this is a speed up video so it's it looks like it's it didn't take very long trust me this took a very long time to go up and down with all those like all those changes the one and then the two and then the one and then the two and just matching it to the same height and I think that was the same height whatever however tall this was and I have no idea how tall that was and I'm just gonna fill in these little holes right there with the wall and taking a look at that now and I th is there any more of it that I did uh, yeah I was adding some more of the pillars uh, that are gonna end up supporting the ceiling and so that's there's a frame that goes around the uh, the uh, track because yeah like soon I'm gonna be adding the track to the station yeah it's almost here but right now I'm finishing the wall and now it's almost yep, there we go and I'm looking around again and now I'm just mirroring the other side making sure to add the pillars and I'm also going to go around and putting them to the right height because before I was just kind of putting them there as a note to myself how tall to make them and so right now I'm actually doing that height defining the height and so now yep like I just said I'm going around and adjusting all to the height and that's the last one there we go looks like they're all done and now comes the fun part we, if you haven't joined my Discord server yet, you are. This is going to be the first time you have seen my new scaled BNM track. So here it is. It's a three by three box, similar to the um, five by five scale, just three by three. But it's actually bigger than the five by five scale, and it looks smaller because it's a three by three. But you'll see that this is just the beam, and then we're also going to have to add the cross ties and the rails, which makes the whole thing look a lot better, and it looks really cool. I, I really like the way it looks. And so this, the only track I'm doing is the track that's in the station. Um, I'm going to be adding the lift hill and possibly the end brake run, but yeah, here we go. Spaced out every four blocks, there is, well, there are uh, three rows of red blocks that are making up the cross ties. Or at least part of the cross ties, they're not done yet. And then I go down the line and adding a block diagonal to each end. And so, and then diagonal from that is going to be where the rails are. And this also took a long time because, uh, you know, it, it, I had to line up each and every single cross tie, but sped up, it looks like it was going fast. But it, it took a long time. This whole thing took a long time, several hours. And so here's where the rail is, which was easier because I could just go straight across. And same thing here, that's where the rail is. And then, yeah, the whole thing looks pretty cool. It looks just like B&M track. And so right now I'm panning over the whole thing. And so, yeah, that's this episode completed. Um, in the next episode, like I said, we're going to be finishing the other side of the station. But yeah, that's everything to do with this episode. And stay tuned for the next episode. And uh, thanks for watching.